Memphis XLRA welcoming you back to check this out. The show where we take a look at our decks we want to take a look at. Have ourselves a good old time. Today, we are having a momentous day on the channel. That's right, after 1,505 days, our boy Pay96 finally got his comeuppance. And we have ourselves Jack, some new Volcanic and I'm here cards. To tell That's you right. Volcanics have their whole new right. set of cards, whole this new strategy. Cool. Not doing no floodgates no more. No, no more of that stuff. That was old uh, volcanics. This is the new volcanics. And we're going to be taking a look at this deck here on Good Old EDO Pro, showing off the cards, the combos, the wombos, the do's, the not do's. Having ourselves a good time with these here fiery boys, attempting to nuke and burn our opponents into the ground. So, as always, we got ourselves our cards here today. We're combined a little bit with the dangers today to help us get things into the grave, help us have field presence, etc., etc. This is a deck with a lot of moving parts, and we're going to go over all of the things. Of course, we have our deck list. Normally, I put this in the description or where have you may, but today I'm just going to I'm just going to read it out to y'all so we can just read it and go over it together. So for our main deck today, we got ourselves one of the new Volcanic Emperor, amazing new boss monster. He's never dead so long as you got stuff in the grave. We have one copy of the Volcanic Doomfire, which I like to keep, even though he's you know not as summonable as our Emperor, but he's a nice backup boss monster, so it's still welcome in the deck. We have three copies of Danger Nessie as one of the best danger monsters. Discarding cards, getting us more cards if we happen to discard somebody else. Discards himself, gets yourself another danger monster. Just a nice card to help keep the duel flowing. We have three copies of Volcanic Rocket, which gets us our Blaze Accelerator cards. Very nice searcher for getting us all the things. One, two, or one copy Mothman, one copy Chupacabra, one copy Tsuchinoko, because more danger support. I mean, Mothman helps us discard other cards if he discards himself. Chupacabra revives monsters. Tsuchinoko is just a free body regardless of what happens. So all very welcome here. We have three copies of the new Volcanic Trooper. Just a good searcher, searches out all volcanic cards, except for um, itself, that, that's an extent, you can't search itself. But you can discard cards to give your opponents a bomb tokens, which is very important for when we use our blaze accelerator. We have one jackalope, of course, because dangerous. We have one volcanic counter, just a very nice card to close out a duel with. If your opponent's low on life and they can't get this thing out of the graveyard, yeah, they're gonna be in a bit of a spot of trouble because they're not gonna be able to attack you without killing themselves off. We have three copies of the OG Scatter Shot. Never play less than three Scatter Shots in a volcanic deck because this thing just nukes your opponent's board and deals 1500 damage. And with the new trap, it is slowly but surely recoverable. We have two copies of the new Rimfire. Just a nice card to get cards into the grave like our Emperor or our Counter or whatever have you made for reviving that monster. We have three Volcanic Shells. Just a nice card to send to the grave for our Reload or our... Uh, Blaze Accelerator in order to pop things, recur more monsters, keep the deck thinned out, and just, you know, have materials to make our danger combos better. We have one copy of One for One, two copies of Foolish Barrel Goods. Of course, this is summoning level ones. This is sending reload so we can ditch our scatter shot from the deck on our opponent's turn. That sort of thing. We have card destruction for obvious reasons. I shouldn't need to explain that one. Just ditch cards you don't need, get cards you do need. We Monster Born to revive either of our searchers, because these both work on Special Summon. Three copies of the new Fire Ejection, which is a foolish burial for all Pyro-type monsters. And because we use Volcanics, they have the additional effects. I can either burn my opponent or summon Bomb Tokens to my opponent's board. Remember, Bomb Tokens, my opponent will lose life whenever they get destroyed. So it's a nice thing to do. We have one called Grave for obvious reasons. We have Blaze Accelerator. You need one at least of the OG in order to use uh, the Blaze Accelerator Volcanic. You, you can also do this with Rimfire, but it, it's a bit more convoluted to do that, but you can do it. Uh, we also have, of course, our three copies of Blaze Accelerator Reload, which is just discard, draw another card. You get rid of your scatter shot by banishing this from the graveyard or just some, discarding it from the hand. Nuke your opponent. I should also explain the new Accelerator. Standard thing, ditch a level one from the deck, pop a card of your opponent's, also, let you special summon a volcanic from your hand. Would have been nice if there were more things to special summon, but I figured there's going to be even more volcanics in the near future. I, I don't think Konami's done with them just yet. Last but not least, we have our volcanic Inferno. Nice little card for negating my post monster effects by banishing the pyros from my grave. Also does burn damage, and it can recur two of my volcanics that are banished every turn. 
Very nice. So, uh, sorry, the extra deck, we have all Relinquished Anima, because we have a lot of level ones. We have Link Rebo, same reason. Couple Masqueranas for protecting our big links. We have Hita, for obvious reasons. Dark, because we have some darks. We have Nightmare Unicorn. Again, these are pretty standard cards. We have our BLS, very nice big dude we can make. We have our Accessco Talker for a big end game boss monster. So our Yuja, if we have to summon a whole lot of monsters, but we need just a little bit of extra draw. We have Unchained Abomination, if we need to start popping our opponent's things, just pop, pop, pop even more. Avermax for a nice defensive boy. We have uh, Lyrilus, Cassevel Nightingale, if we just need to smack our opponent a couple times to edge out a victory. Bogus, if things go horribly wrong for whatever reason. And it's just a cheeky tag, we have our Infernal Flame Vixen, which can just banish cards of my opponent's grave or my grave if I want to banish more fires to make Emperor even more burn. So, that's just a cheeky deck card. As for the side deck, if you want to go old school with Volcanics, go ahead. You're counting yourself out of a lot of the good stuff. And then there's Ash Blossom if you just want to Ash people. But regardless, that is today's deck. Let's go ahead now and EDO Pro. Let's show off this deck. Show the combos of the Wombos. Have yourselves a good time. Alrighty, our first opponent. Another day, another card game. And with this deck, we do like to try and go first to set things up, as Volcanics still do like to do. And this opening hand is pretty good. I like it. I can make some stuff with this. All right, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is activate the new Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. To do this, we must ditch the OG from of a deck. It's a very nice thing, but it does require setup. So next, we're going to go ahead... I don't really have much else, but let's go ahead and activate Fire Ejection. Nice little spell. We're going to send a card to the grave. In this case, let's send our Volcanic Emperor, dude. And what we're going to go ahead and do is give my opponent a BAM token. Now, these BAM tokens, while they are on my opponent's board, if they get destroyed, my opponent takes some damage. It was very nasty to hit my opponent with that. Uh, but before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and use Accelerator, yes. We're going to go ahead and destroy my opponent's bomb token, do that bit of burn damage. More importantly, we're sending our Rimfire to the grave. That'll do 500 to my opponent, and activate Rimfire's effect. That way I can banish this dude, send another Volcanic to the grave. In this case, we'll send a Shell. Because Shell is just still good. It's basically what I can do is pay 500 life points, and get another one. And then another one. So, we'll go ahead and normal summon both of our volcanic shells because I do still have the ability special summon with this here accelerator. It's such a nice card. Shame it needs the original to do stuff, but at least it's not that hard to do. So, now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and go for Heat of the Fire Charmer. She's very nice. And we're going to go ahead and activate our volcanic Emperor Man. Now, because we do need some fires in the graveyard in order to use the trap cards effect, we're going to go ahead and banish the Blaze Accelerator from the grave. We'll summon this boy, and we'll go ahead and put him in attack one. He's a big, beefy attacker. Wish he had some protection to him, but he does not. But that's okay. My opponent will take 500 for every one of my banished boys, and I can get the Volcanic Inferno. Which allows me to just banish one of these boys and, like, get more stuff. So, last but certainly not least, good old Foolish Goods will ditch our reload so I can have a field nuke on my opponent's turn and interrupt them. So, that's a pretty nice opening combo. It's not like the biggest, but it's a decent one focused entirely on the volcanic stuff. You know, we were able to summon out our new Emperor. Every time my opponent special summons, they're going to take 500 damage. Everyone likes to special summon nowadays. Therefore, we can get a plenty of gain off of this. Unless that happens, then, then things don't work out as well. Mother flippin' in pen. I guess it was asking too much for, you know, this to have targeted protection, but what have ye may. Okay, so this is an elemental hero deck. Probably should have expected as much. You know, it's the age-old battle of volcanics versus elemental heroes. All right, good old Stratus. That's going to allow him to search, but I'm going to be like, Infernal, in well, <laughs> Volcanic Inferno. Inferno the Inferno is a completely different card. But yeah, basically, I can banish a guy, burn, and then negate. Because I banished a Volcanic, so it was very nice. And we'll see what my opponent can do from here. 
It really depends on what he does. He shuffle hero, summon E hero, or Neo Space with a different name from the deck. Okay. All right. So my opponent is still going to be able to do some stuff. He still has that m m m mask change. Um. I might as well banish reload now then. That way, I at least get something in the grave. I don't know if this is gonna stop Dark Law, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a shot. Uh, no. Yeah, unfortunately, because of Dark Law. Dang it, Dark Law. It had to be Dark Law, didn't it? I despise this card so much. I remember it was one time I played D or just Elemental Heroes in general. I didn't focus on Dark Law, but for some reason, the damn thing kept coming out. Uh, let's go to activate it. Add Plasma. Cannot draw during the draw phase. Cannot target your cards you control with card effects. When Plasma... Let's see. Each Plasma gains 100 attack points. Okay. So. Ouchie, but at least Hita goes off, so that's good. So, let me think. Let's get uh, Trooper. Because Trooper da Poopa. He'll be just fine. I mean, D-Force is annoying. But that doesn't stop me. In fact, that kind of hurts you. Because uh, now he can't draw in the draw phase anymore. Okay, well, regardless of that, let's go ahead and use our Inferno's effect. Let's go ahead and put some cards back into our deck. So let's put our shell and... Let's put our shells back in the deck. Why not? That way I can just, you know, get them back. This is the nice thing about shells. As long as you have one in the grave, you effectively have an infinite number. All right, so I cannot target you. I gotta face up monster, so I can't target you. That's the annoying part. All right, let's go ahead and use volcanic shell though for now. That way I can at least get some draw power going. This dark law, it is annoying for certain, and I almost forgot about that part. But it's fine. I can just negate it. And burn it. I negate and burn you. No, you will not stop me from doing anything, sir. Not quite, because I have Electronic Pooper. So Electronic Trooper, of course, does his thing. I can go ahead and add to my hand. Ooh, I could get Doomfire, though. That is a snarky thing. What are the odds that I can OTK him? I'm going to give it a shot. Why not? I mean, what, what, the, let's see. What are the odds that one of these is honest? Or uh, the hero be honest? I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. Why not? So we're going to go ahead and use Blaze Accelerator Reload. We'll ditch our shell, which gets banished, so that doesn't actually get us anything. It's fine. I didn't need it. And, yeah. Wait. Oh, t Doomfire. Or not Doomfire. Dark Law. You whore. How dare you? Yeah, I, I can't send... Reload, sadly, but you know what? It's fine. Whatever. I'll do it later. It's all good. It's fine. He can't even use monster effects so long as I have things. All right. Well, slight. Let's see. Hmm. Let's activate Trooper's effect, ditching Mothman. It's a little risky. Actually, I don't even have to activate this if I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Like, why would I intentionally give my opponent more stuff? That seems like a bad idea. So I'm not going to do that. But we will use Rimfire's effect. And let me think about this. Send a Volcanic. Yes. Let us send do, 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 Counter to the Graveyard. And we should be pretty set. I'm happy with that. All right. So we're up against our opponent. Wait, I thought you couldn't draw. Oh, yeah. He has to have Plasma on the board. I'm dumb. It's, it's still fine because here's the thing. I have a monster effect negate. This is heroes. Heroes really live or die off that, you know, Stratos a lot of times. It's kind of a thing. I mean, if they already have um, uh, Vision, Hero, Ferris, yeah. If they have him already, they're okay. But if they don't have both, they really live or die off of that Stratos. As you can tell from my opponent's situation. I mean, what, what can he do? He can do nothing in the power of Volcanics. All right, well, there, there's a nice, clean win with uh, the Volcanics. I, admittedly, I, I made a little bit of an oopsie ruling moment with the, the Dark Law, but you know what? I don't care. Um, I beat Jaden with the Volcanics. There you go. Justice is served. Perfect win 
to start this off. You get the full idea of what we're trying to do. You summon out your Emperor, you burn your opponent. You got your Accelerator, you burn your opponent. You got the Search, that burns your opponent indirectly. Uh, but you also got Inferno to burn your opponent, destroy your opponent, etc., etc. So I'm glad with that for a first duel. We got to show off a lot of what we're trying to do in the main deck. Let's go for duel number two, show off more of that. Hopefully dip into the extra deck a little bit in order to show off a little bit more of what we can do. All righty, second opponent. Let's go do it again. As I pet dog off screen. Hey, buddy, I know. He's like, take me for a walk. And I'm like, I will. I shall. All right, so what are we up against? We're up against pot of extravagant. Okay, that could mean anything. Honestly, that could mean a lot of things. What do we got? Pot of duality. So, oh no, counter fairies. I don't like counter fairies. What's this one do again? Uh, negate a spell trap or monster pack. Add a light fairy from the. Oh no, we're dead. <laughs> we're just straight up dead, effectively. Uh, he's got the searcher, and he's got the ability to play any of his cards free of charge. Oh, right. This sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks more than a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, drastic drop-off. Just discard the card you just drew. Gotcha. All right. My question is, can we attempt to get over this? I don't know. We shall attempt. All right, so I've got Mothman. Let's go ahead, use our Rimfire. We're going to go ahead and banish him. Get ourselves our Emperor, dude. Uh, yes. Uh, what counter traps does he even have? That's the big question. We'll find out. The fact that he didn't just auto-negate that. Okay. Solemn Johnson, as one would expect. Okay, so Power Angel Valkyria adds Bountiful Booty Man. I don't care what the card text says. That guy's name is Bountiful Booty Man. All right. Tuchinoko, you had one job? All right, well, regardless, let's go ahead and uh, summon out our big boy, good old Volcanic Emperor Man. He's probably going to negate that, too, because this is Counter Fairies. Um, oh, wait. That's not a once per turn. Ah! <laughs> Screw you, Counter Boy! <laughs> oh, you poor, naive child. You thought you could stop the power of volcanics. No. No, volcanics stops you. That's just how it works. All right, well, regardless of me saying all that, what are we actually going to summon? Uh, he's in the wrong zone for that. I could make... I could make Masquerin. Let's do that. Let's use these two. Make Mascarena. That way, I can use Volcanic Shell's effect, pay 500 life points, get myself another Volcanic Shell, and we're pretty set. Let's go for the battle phase. Uh, we'll attack first with Mothman, because I don't trust this guy's hand. He might have Honest, for all we know. Okay, he didn't have Honest, but I had to make sure. If he had Honest, I didn't want to lose my Emperor, dude. So, I feel I feel confident that I made the right choice there. But, dang, I think we... I, I looked at that, and I was like, oh, Counter Fairy. So much fun. Uh, but no, I think, actually, we might actually be able to actually out that. It really depends on what else he makes, but Counter Fairy is not exactly a deck built on our battle phases. Granted, he has one of those, so we can get whatever the hell he wants. We'll find out. We'll find out indeed. So he gets to banish six cards. Uh, let me think about this. What is he getting? Um, Ariadne, whatever this is. No. And he surrenders! Oh, yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! All right. Well, that, that doesn't really count too much as a win, but any win against a Counter Fairy deck is a win. So we were able to just persevere through Counter Fairies and. You know, I didn't even realize this was not a once per turn on the summon. Who knew? Anyone who read it probably knew. But I, I read the part where it's a big feeder. It burns stuff. 
but that's what I read. So, all right. Well, we get to beat the counter fairies. Let's go ahead for one more duel today. I would do more, but I have dog waiting for walks. So I got to take care of that more important. So let's go for one more duel and we'll close it out good. All right, our third and final opponent, the fighting third. I can't stress enough how glad I am. We're finally playing some new volcanic cards. It's been so many years. Nothing but floodgates. So many floodgates in these volcanic decks, but no more. No more of that. Mm -mm. No way. All right, well, this opening hand's kind of garbage, though. Uh, let's set a couple cards and roll the bones. Good old Danger Nessie. Come on, baby. Thank you, Nessie. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. All righty. So we got our good old Rim Fire. And... Uh, not a good sign for me. All righty, our third and final opponent, the Fighting Third. And I'm just, I, I can't stress enough how glad I am to finally be playing some volcanics that aren't completely reliant on floodgates. So many years, volcanics had nothing but a bunch of floodgates to sit on. And it was not fun. But you know what? It's a new day and a new era for volcanics. I can only hope that whatever old school archetype Konami decides to, you know, boost up next, you know... Dude, I hope Konami puts this much effort into it. And I still think there's going to be more Volcanics. I just have this feeling that, yeah, six is a nice start. But I, I feel like that there could be more. All right, so what does this do? The monster special summon. The current control of that monster banishes a card from their hand. All right, that's mildly annoying. Um, That's only when I special summon, right? Betting, I shouldn't be betting. What am I betting for? All right, so let's go ahead and use Volcanic Trooper. We'll go ahead and grab our Accelerator, because we like our Accelerator. Like it very much. All right, so this guy's trying to lock me out of things, and he's got these, like, Metaphys. Good old Metaphys. I mean, Metaphys are cool and all. But, like, I don't know. I don't like the fact that he's going to try and, like, stop me. So let's let me think about this. Activate Volcanic Trooper. Ditch Nessie, because Nessie will get me another card. And then we'll give my opponent a bomb token. Does that count as me? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we'll use our Nessie. We'll get ourselves another danger, and then we can banish the danger, because I really don't want to get rid of anything else. So, yeah, summoning curse. Oh, that's what the point of that was. Oh, we both? Oh, we both have to. Oh, and he just put Trooper Defense Mode. Okay, that's not that bad. That's, uh... Okay, that's once per turn. Uh, Target of Metaphy... Okay, this is... Uh, the Monster's target for attack. Target of Metaphy is banished from the Grave Engine card. So I don't think this does anything while, while it's banished. It's more of like what comes later, right? Uh, so I special summon a Volcanic. Bad things happen now. Hmm. Uh, is rather annoying. I will not lie. That is going to be a really annoying thing. But, you know, come what have you may. So let's go ahead and keep going. I don't care if my opponent's doing weird stuff. I'm going to keep going. Let's see. Go ahead and send us the Emperor. And I really wish this counter was not in my hand right now. Um... Hmm. Activate fire rejection. We'll go ahead and send another card to the GY. In this case, we'll send a volcanic shell. And we'll go ahead and flick up. You know, we'll take 100 damage. Take it. Take it right now. Get myself another volcanic shell. More stuff I can banish and, you know, edge out this curse. Really more worried about this trap, right? I think that's the Metaphys trap. I could be mistaken, but I don't know if I am. So, let's go ahead. You know what? He's going to be making me banish a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to out some things. So, let's go for Volcanic Rocket. We'll go for his effect. I'll take my da uh, I, I don't take damage, but I, I lose a card in my hand. There it is. All right. Discarding. Drawing the banish of metaphys from the deck. Okay. So I really got to let's see, summon a metaphys from the hand banisher during the Okay. 
I think that's okay. Pretty sure. So now I have to banish my shell, which sucks, but what can you do? Let's activate our Chupacoob. All right, that's not what I was hoping for, but, you know, is what it is. So we'll banish Trooper. We will set Accelerator. Let me think about this. How many banish shall I say? One, two, three. That's 1,500. 1,500's not bad. Is that... Wait, hold on. 5,400. Okay, hold on. I think I can actually win right here. Send those three. Good old co Soldier of Coas. Gotta banish my last card. Doesn't matter to me. Go, go, Emperor Man. Banish the boys. Alright, I think that's actually... Is that game? I think that's game. Unless, unless I'm mistaken as to how the, the decoy dragon works. Yes, that's game. There you go, people. All right. I, I think can we do one more duel. I mean, we've done pretty much everything we really want to. You know, what? we'll do one more for pain's sake. We'll do one more duel. Why not? One, one more quick duel. That's it. All right, everybody. The fourth and final opponent. For, 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 fourth duel. Last chance for romance. The volcanics are doing just just great today. You know, we beat up Elemental Heroes. We beat up the Counter Fairies. We beat Metaphys. Granted, I don't think Metaphys was really set up properly, but, you know, I think, who cares? Anyway, what we are going to be doing here, though, let me think about this. Let me think about that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's set a couple cards. Activate Chupacabra. See where this goes. Maybe he'll hit me with Ash Blossom. That would be funny if he did that. If you didn't know, Ash Blossom doesn't actually do anything to Chupacabra or any of our dangers. It really doesn't, because it just negates it, but it doesn't destroy it or anything. So it's all good. So we got that set up. Let's go ahead. Um, Activate our OG Blaze Accelerator. We're going to activate Fire Ejection gonna be a very rough hand but it is what we have so let's send our rimfire to the grave we are going to burn the opponent for 100 damage and use our effect so now i can ditch the blaze accelerator i have for another one so uh or i could banish one in the grave but i kind of want that to be in the grave you know so we'll ditch this do I go for an extra draw, or do I go for this? Hmm. You know, this is the fourth duel. I think we can just take it easy with this last one. You know? Plus, I don't I don't really have a hand for really abusing things right at the moment. So, I'm just going to be like, go, go, Volcanic Shell. Have I normal... I haven't normal summoned yet. I should... Hmm. Yeah, I can do something. This is not going to be pretty by any definition of the word. But I can still do this. So what we're gonna do, revive our volcanic shell. Just gotta count the numbers. Yeah, we have we're nowhere near Nibiru just yet. We'll make ourselves a mascarena. We'll pay another 500. Get our last volcanic shell. Because this is not a solid once per turn. It's more of a loose once per turn with the shell. You know, just get another one. That way I can make a unicorn and I can nuke my opponent's board. All of the fun stuff. So we'll end our turn. You know, with what little we started with, I think we did okay. I got a Mascarena. I've got something to turn it into unicorn. I can draw more cards, nuke my opponent's board. I, I'm confident that we at the very least have ourselves a hand. So let's go ahead and chain our reload to this just, just to do it. Just be like, hey, I'm going to do it. I don't have to discard. But, ooh, that's even better. That's even better to discard. All right, so what is our opponent playing? Lightning Storm. Ooh, destroy all my opponent's attack position monsters. Well, I guess I have no other option but to do this. I don't want to, but it's like, what else to, to do? Let's make Dark the Dark Charmer. Why not? This is something different. 
You know, Dark the Dark Charm, I only put this in here because I'm using the dangers. But it, it still does its thing, you know, if it's destroyed. Oh. It's a danger. Oh, no, is this danger, Dark World? No, it's it's Grand Magi to Aiza, which could be a lot worse. That could be a lot worse. All right. So we're up against uh, the dangers. Well, Thunderbird, to be specific. Zoo King Alpha. Okay, so this is literally just like a beatdown deck, essentially. Is Mech Arachi the Snick? All right. Uh, Gizmek Roji, the Serpentron Sky Slasher, indeed. I mean, that, that's a lot of big dudes on the board. And he's gonna make... I had a feeling, it's Dingirazu. That's bad. Now I can't field Nuke. Mmm! Alright, well that is... That's regrettable indeed. I had a nice setup for everything, but... Unfortunately, it's just not going to work. Wait a minute. Hmm. I just want to double check something. Uh, during the play's main phase. Okay. It's not going to work because my opponent's probably smart enough, but I can deny him. Uh, I can at least prolong the duel for a split second, basically. Because, yeah, unfortunately, because this protects his monsters from being field nuked, uh, it doesn't work that way. So, what I can do, however, just to, you know, screw with my opponent a little bit. I am going to send Volcanic Counter to the grave. Which will not let me win the duel. I, I'm still losing this one. But here's the kicker. If he hits me, he will now take the same amount of damage I do. I don't remember if that works if he overkills me or not. But either way, you know, he'll attack with Ngirzu. Counter automatically activates. He'll take the same damage. And we'll, we'll take a loss from the Grenmaju. A regrettable thing? I... <laughs> I, I waited a little too long to hit him with the field nuke. I was thinking I could wait a little longer, but I was not thinking about levels. I was not expecting gear zoo, so that's a fault on my part. But we got to see off what the dark or what the uh, the volcanics do. You know, we got to show off them in a lot of duels, and we got to do most of what we like to do with this deck. We didn't really need the extra deck too much, but that's why it's an extra deck. But for now, let's go for the end screen. Talk more about this deck here. Alrighty, everybody, the new volcanic firepower went three out of four. Very respectable. We beat up some trolls. We beat up tricking elemental heroes, which is always, you know, a little cathartic with volcanics to do. And we had a good time. I am so glad that volcanics finally got the support. It feels so good playing a volcanic deck that's not just floodgate, floodgate, floodgate over and over again. You know, I was so sick of that. And I, I'm really hoping that Konami does give just a little bit more support in the near future, you know? It doesn't have to be that, nothing crazy. I was really expecting a fusion, but we didn't get a fusion. But uh, it would be nice if there was a little bit more some down the line, along with all the other archetypes that need some help. Konami, you give them all the gripe in the world. When they actually put some effort into making this legacy support, they actually do an okay job, okay? Not all the time, but when they do, you, you notice it. So, I hope everybody enjoyed seeing some Volcanics. I enjoyed playing Volcanics. If you did, smash the like button. Let me know that you enjoyed watching this here. Consider subbing to help the channel keep growing up and up. And I'll see you guys again very soon with more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. Till next time, y'all take care now.